Nos encontramos en la Plaza Colón de la Sultana del Oeste, ciudad de Mayagüez, cuna de Olga Arán Méndez, la primera mujer puertorriqueña en ser electa a un cargo legislativo en los Estados Unidos continental. Para la senadora, como muchos la conocían, cruzar líneas partidistas era necesario si se trataba de procurar el progreso y la justicia para su gente. Muy a menudo sus contrincantes en batallas políticas terminaban convirtiéndose en amigos por su integridad y valentía. En la despedida tras su muerte en el 2009, sus constituyentes la lloraron y declararon que como ella, ninguna. Dulce pero fuerte al mismo tiempo, intensamente feminista, antes de que el término existiera. Olga no se consideraba ni latina ni hispana. Ella era ferozmente puertorriqueña como el ruiseñor y el coqui. Keith L. T. Wright, líder demócrata del condado de Manhattan, nos habla de la pionera de Harlem. Triple web, right, Latina, Puerto Rican, and a woman. No, you just didn't see that back then. She leaves a legacy and a footprint of zealous representation for East Harlem and beyond. I was lucky enough to know her. It was a year out of college when I met her. She just gotten elected. We were out of central Harlem and Olga was from over there in East Hall. When my father was running for a judgeship in 1978, Olga, without hesitation, um, endorsed him. I, I will never forget that, and we became friendly. And when I ran for state assembly, she was helpful to me, and she didn't have to be. You always appreciate when the person is there for you when the rubber meets the road. When my rubber met the road, and when my father's rubber met the road, she was there. Blacks and Puerto Ricans lived together, and we worked together. We represented the same type of community, so we understood each other. And we both understood when you form a coalition of black and brown people, you become stronger. She was a real pioneer. She was a woman. Getting elected to the state senate at that point, that was an achievement. It was almost never heard of. Politics run by men. She served for 27 years. The Republicans were in power. They were in power in the state senate for her whole time and she was a senator. The Democrats were not in power. So for this woman to be able to deliver anything from her state senate seat was an absolute achievement. Not only did she need to, I guess, endear herself to her community and for them to have faith in her to deliver, but she needed to know how to navigate Albany to navigate those levers of power in order to bring back the resources to our community. That's a big achievement. Olga was not to be denied. Not only a street fighter, she knew how to fight. She didn't mess with Olga. If she entered a room, you knew she entered that room. She was not a shrinking violet in any way, shape, manner, or form. In a lot of ways, when Olga would walk the halls, it was like, hide the women and children. Here she comes, watch out. She was a firestorm. She was a hurricane. She was a typhoon just waiting to happen if she thought that there was an injustice or if her community was being um, compromised or not, or getting short trip. You knew that she was there to represent her neighborhood, which was a Puerto Rican neighborhood. Yes, she was concerned about all Latinos. And she was a zealous Puerto Rican and she fought. She didn't expect anything more, anything less. She just wanted equality. She was transactional and she was genuine at the end of her career when she was um, making her deals for her neighborhood. So George Pataki, he was gonna put a new um, Department of Motor Vehicles, big building, it's a big deal. Whatever neighborhood that goes in, guaranteed jobs, economic development, uh, office space and such. And Olga cut the deal for that Department of Motor Vehicles to go into East Harlem. So now if you're getting a driver's license, Yeah, you can go downtown in Manhattan, but now you have a Department of Motor Vehicles building in East Harlem. They should actually should name that building after Olga, as far as I'm concerned. Olga Mendez is not another name 
in a history book. A Puerto Rican woman who was up against the old boys club in so many ways. And I would think that young Puerto Rican women would want to know who she was. Public service is an honorable, honorable profession. Olga saw that. She was one of a kind, one of a kind. I loved it. Um, it was a privilege to be able to serve with her. I would love to see some more Olga Mendez in this world today. I am Olga Mendez from New York. Salud.